Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to try something very different. Now, first of all, I am using oil paint and second of all, I want to have a go at creating this striking pop art image. Now, I have just done like a quick sketch and I want to try and keep the colors like a bit popping for this pop art piece, say for the lips. I've chosen this bright pink and now I'm just trying to paint some reflection of buildings in the sunglasses that this lovely face is going to be wearing. So for this I'm using black and I'm just trying to outline the, uh, the sunglasses. So it just is giving a little bit of definition before we move further. Again on this side as well. I'm going to create some uh, reflection of uh, buildings. Now, what you create in the sunglasses is totally your call. It's totally what you want this person to be viewing. Anyhow, moving on now, uh, um, what I'm going to do is just fill in the eyebrows. Um, I have kept the shape of the eyebrows different on both sides. Maybe she's got her eyebrow raised. Who knows, there is absolutely no right or wrong. Right, I'm trying to darken the outlines of the nose and the face. Um, I just realized over here that the face is in perfect shape. But again, this is not a realistic image and uh, or a realistic painting. I'm just trying to experiment and break my comfort zone and do something different. Um, I'm using this cerulean blue for hair. Um, you're gonna see I'm gonna use all different kind of color for hair because um, as this is kind of pop art, it does not need to be your regular hair. Right, now I'm going in with pink and alizarin crimson um, just to give it a little bit of different shading. And I'm also going to, by the time this video is coming to an end, you will see, I will still go ahead and change this, uh, um, this hairstyle, basically. Um, I'm also using a bit of cadmium red, um, only because I wasn't necessarily happy with the combination of a blue and pink. I just thought I'll throw in red there. Um, I wouldn't say I'm 100% still happy with the result. But that is the beauty of painting. You know, there is no right or wrong. You can keep changing. You can keep going over stuff. And you do what makes you happy. Right, for the glasses, the lenses, I'm using this aqua blue shade. And um, after I colored it, I just thought it was a little bit too dark for me for lenses. So I am going to add on a little bit of a white to lighten this whole lens up on both eyes. And I think if you compare the two together now, this lighter one looks better for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Just lighten it up slightly to give it realistic feel. And now I'm going in with Mars Black. Just trying to add some dimension to hair. I'm just trying to create these hair strands um, just to see if this is what is, um, you know, what I'm wanting to do. Um, after this, I think I, I'm i going to move on to coloring the face. So I, usually in a human face, you know, the outside, outline is usually darker but i just thought like i made the forehead a little bit too dark so i will go in and make it lighter because it was just a bit too dark compared to the rest of the skin tone um so here i'm just trying to even out the forehead and i'm going to continue with cheeks um again because this is like a pop art kind of painting you don't need to have like every feature you know defined perfectly this is just about uh, a vision you have rather than realism anyhow so carrying on painting the chin and all the areas that are left like the cheek the nose um and the neck of course let's not forget the neck it's uh kind of being overlooked right now <laughs> 
So yeah, um, I think with this is my first time trying such a painting. Um, I wouldn't say I was like hundred percent happy with the end result, but then again, if you know this is my first attempt it's only gonna get better so i can't be too harsh on myself and neither you should be i think i made her upper lip area quite dark which is not going on with the rest of the face but hey we all live and learn so it's okay um right now the face coloring is mainly all done and i'm gonna have to go back to the hair because not <sighs> Um, I'm not fully satisfied with how hair are at the moment, so I'm gonna like change it up a bit. Um, I believe that now I'm gonna take a fan brush and try and create a little bit more definition in the hair. So first I'm going in with the blue and then of course I'm gonna go in. I've, I've added a little bit of this white strikes because I just thought it, it just made some areas stand out which is something that was really good and then of course i added pink hope you enjoyed